In this video, I am going to show you how to create a shape for a vector cut around this image. So I have my little name doodle that I had created and there we know that it's transparent behind this. So you can see if I click on the artboard, it's all transparent back there. Now I want to create a shape that goes around this. Let's just make an easy one. I will do a rectangle. So I'm going to choose my rectangle tool on the left hand side. If you don't see rectangle tool selected, you can right mouse click or if you're on a Mac, two finger click, control click to get these other options. I right now I'm just going to do a rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle around this. Now, you're going to see that that rectangle is in front while the fill is black. So let me make the fill a different color. But even if I do make it a different color, you see I covered the image. If I go to layers, I want to show you how to work in layers. So I'm going to expand layer one because that's all I have right here. And I can click on this rectangle and if I, if I click and drag it below, that image, now I have the image behind it. If I go to properties, I probably don't want to, I don't want a red fill. So all I want is a transparent fill and I do want a stroke. So on the epilogue mini, it doesn't matter. I can do a black stroke, red. I'm going to use red as a vector cut. Um, and there are other programs, laser cutting programs where you might need to use red. So I'm gonna use red as my vector cut, but for our machine, our line needs to be a, a really hairline thin line. So I'm gonna make this 0 0.001. And when I do the select tool and click out of it, you can barely see it. So, you know what? I'm gonna actually make that line, oh, although, Let's go back to red. For some reason, let's try this one more time. 0 0.001, enter. Okay, now you should see. It's very, very faint, but it's there. I have this line. So now if I were to send this to the laser cutter printer, it would know that this hairline thin line is the one that it's going to cut around and then it's going to do a raster engrave over this um, black image. So that is how you create a shape around an image so that you get a vector cut 